Hey everybody, welcome to tipsbychris.com. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over maximizing using your categories and um, laying out your menu with the categories going across and why that's beneficial as far as navigation for your audience. And you'll get to see why um, they even have that tool and how it works out uh, best for you as the user when you're starting to do this and how to organize your blog. Uh, nice and neat. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with logging in to our dashboard. I've already logged in so we're going straight back to the dashboard section here and what I'd like to do is show you the menu section. Now so you want to go to appearance and from appearance you're going to go to menus. From the menu section here you're going to see that I already have a menu lined up here but I want you to take notice of let's open this in a new tab the website right now it has these menu buttons going across which is basically just the pages these are all static pages that I put up they about me just basic static page a disclaimer about um, the site itself and then also a privacy policy so we have these pages here but what we want to do is we want to actually have our blog kind of categorized nicely for our people going around there and this is what I mean so if I activate this menu that I put together which I'll show you how to create um, but for right now I want to show you the difference of why it's important to use the categories as menu so I created this menus with categories and pages um, section here I just hit save and what we'll do is we refresh this screen so we'll see the difference of how this menu breaks apart so what happened now you'll see all of my categories are now my menu tabs and what's cool about it is every time that I've done say an internet business tip or a WordPress tutorial if I click on this all of my WordPress tutorial blogs are nicely stacked automatically nice and clean with you know a, a small blurb about the the post itself so it's a lot easier for your visitors to navigate or if I go to our product reviews by clicking on that and scroll down you'll see my product reviews all nicely and neatly stacked otherwise if we have it left the way most or some new people or not, no I guess people not familiar with the menus if you look at how they have it lined up the only way to really see their categories is a lot of times you'll have it on the left sidebar here let's refresh it back to the old way only our page is going across here and then we have our recent post and then our categories are here you know with tags so it really doesn't help people notice it not like the way the the um the menu bar does so let's go ahead and show you how I created this part here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this menu completely and this is how you're going to start when you go to appearance and to menus you're going to see exactly this page there's nothing on here basically just sitting down and you have to even start by naming your first menu before anything gets accessible to you so we're going to name this um, categories and pages menu you can name it whatever you want you can name it menu 1 menu 2 menu 3 for all uh, intensive purposes it doesn't really matter it's just whatever you want to name it so I'm gonna hit create menu and this is what we're gonna be creating is this particular menu now what we're going to also do is we're gonna set this up as the primary navigation now the only reason why this is here is because I've created my menu here I can have multiple different styles of menus but we have this one we're gonna select that and we're gonna hit save so that becomes my new menu now now there's nothing in my menu area here so if I go and now refresh because I don't have anything in my menu box there is actually no menu whatsoever so we're gonna go back and we're gonna create our menu and the way we do that is we can create custom links as well so for instance if I wanna create www youtube.com I can add a YouTube to the menu and it'll actually link somebody out here so here this is something that's pretty cool well you'll check with this we'll check this out by showing you what that does oh save menu and then we'll refresh our screen here and we will now see the YouTube button if I click on here it actually takes me straight to YouTube so you can link out I mean it's really cool on how you can use this uh, button area or this menu to actually link to even other blogs of yours or other places um, but that's usually 
something more advanced if you want to maybe link to if you have your YouTube channel you can link to your YouTube channel um, I have actually so I have user dash tips by Chris and that will take you to my YouTube channel so um, the navigation label is what will actually show up and we will add that there and we'll see that as part of our menu now now the we want to also keep my pages so I'm gonna actually all the pages I created will be listed here and these are the three I've created so I'm gonna add these three to the menu too and you'll notice they'll pop up here okay and I want to make sure that my YouTube actually actually that's where I want my YouTube so I'm gonna leave it there but then I want to actually add all my categories. Now you can keep some of the categories out if you don't want all of them there. But I want actually every single one of them in there. So I can hit select all. I'm going to add it to the menu. And you'll see now we have all of them lined up here. Now my main pages I want last. So for instance right now you will see if we refresh this it will have all of the different items that I put here. So what I want to do though is I want actually my categories starting from the left and my pages pretty much at the end because most people read from left to right but they're also the least important so what I'm going to do is go back here and I'm gonna order it with tutorial here I want my tech tip first this YouTube channel I want it third to last uh, we will put it down here because I'm gonna be moving the about all the way to the bottom, the privacy policy at second to the bot last, and the disclaimer second here, and my product reviews probably second. Let's leave that second. Oh, uh, tutorial I'm going to leave here. My internet business, I'll probably move this down here. So this is the order from left to right that it's going to show up. Now the one thing I did notice the, when we just went out to check is this actually is a little too long. So I'm going to change this to maybe I'm putting a dash because it looked like it was two different tabs the way that I had it and we're gonna then now save the menu come here and we're gonna refresh it and what you'll see is my order reordered in the way I want it YouTube channel is actually with a dash now but my tech tip product review everything's going across here now I don't have a home page tab which is fine um, this actually on the top is my home page which is shows all the blogs as they get posted in there uh, so you can even pick one of these as your main page that you want maybe people to land on uh, as well but the whole thing is, is that you can actually have these different channels here now one thing you can also do is you can actually um, put one channel within another or uh, a menu within another so for instance I have two tutorials so let's just put um, this tutorial tab I want to put maybe this under here so I'm gonna indent it a little and as you notice it it looks like it's kind of like under in this category and by saving that what it does is it actually combines the two but makes it a drop down so we'll go back and we'll take a look at what it looks like you'll notice that this WordPress tutorial will disappear and what has actually happened is it has gone under here so if I had tutorials and maybe I had WordPress tutorials and I had maybe PC tutorials, Mac tutorials, then I'll have you know all of them drop down so someone can pick a specific type of tutorial within there. Um, but I have my own category of just tutorials, so it'll actually show them all as well. So you have that type of flexibility of actually having drop downs if this becomes too long. In fact, I can just have uh, even the about privacy policy and disclaimer put all into one. So let's go ahead and move this because it's already under we'll have it under here we'll have that saved and if we go in here you'll notice those two will disappear and then what happened is they got stacked under the about so we have them here so that's actually how you will work your menus and like I said the best part about it is when you click on one of these it actually with using the 2010 or 20 um, 
11 themes, the basic ones, it starts to stack them in like this. And that is how you play around or use your menus this way. And like I said, even the YouTube channel, you can link it out if you have a Twitter account or you can just put it in there as well. And that's a great way to get people to go to your social media sites. If you have a Facebook page, you can write your Facebook page here. So the possibilities are endless. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to email me at Chris at tipsbychris.com and I'll be happy to see if I can have time to put together a video specifically uh, to answer your question here. Uh, if you like this video also on if you're watching this on YouTube please click that um, you like it on the like button below and add comments on YouTube if you're watching it through here. If not come to the blog at tipsbychris.com and um, I'd love to hear comments positive negative anything you know, improvements I can do. I'm here to help and thank you for watching tipsbychris.com. Have a good day.